Hello world, and thank you for coming back around for another Poet Ray episode. I am Poet Ray, and of course here is my pal Rick Rack, and we are here for another splendid poem. Woo! All right, so I don't know if you've noticed, but it's been a heck of a year, right? Like nobody had the year that they expected, and it's kind of been awful for the most part, yeah? Um, I was in a mode of self-pitying for a while right? Like I had this really good job that I was excited about that went right out the window. I didn't want to hang around the place that I was living because I felt stuck. Here I am. Those sorts of things. So I just kind of fell into this slump and I was like, oh, life sucks. Woe is me. Nothing's going my way. You know, it's easy to fall into that. So I wrote a poem, facetiously, you might notice, uh, about self-pity. And it is titled, have pity. So, here it is. Have pity on me. My year has not what it's supposed to be. Have pity on me. I'm trapped inside with the key. Have pity on me. I work so hard to live conventionally. Have pity on me. I never get anything for free. Have pity on me. I'm so special and none of you see. Will you just pity me, or else you aren't invited to the party? So, anyway, like, uh, like last time about blame, I felt like self-pity really went right along with it, you know? And I think that I realized it obviously didn't do me any good, but I also realized, you know, take stock in what you have. Because there were a lot of things that I still had to be thankful for and grateful to have. Um, and in the reality of things, I still got it pretty good, you know? So it's easy to fall into that slump, but you gotta find your way out. Yeah? Well, you know just what it's like, don't you? Yeah. Do you feel uh, like life has completely changed out of the mug? Yeah? And sometimes did you feel like kind of sad and upset that you were in the mug alone a lot? Yeah, would you say that you self-pitied yourself? Self-pitied yourself? Yeah, that makes sense, right? Yeah, but now it's better and things move on. And things change. That's right. So, if you're feeling that way, folks, just remember, nothing lasts forever. And that, you know, there's always something else. So, you know, take that next step forward. Look on the bright side. See the silver lining in the clouds. And then, maybe you'll feel a little bit better. Like me and Rick Rack here. Alright? Well, we'll catch you next time. Have a great week.